Good day and welcome back to another right, DBZ Doka Metal video. In this video we're going to be taking a look at the, or how you can complete the Movie Heroes Challenge for the Fighting Legend Goku event without any items, uh, basically with the Movie Heroes team. So, pretty easy, uh, pretty stock standard kind of build nowadays. I think there's so many great Movie Heroes options that it's not really too difficult to build a very strong team for this. Like it's not too difficult to build something that's very very strong, something that has a lot of you know diversity or has the ability to take on the event because there's just so many great options and it really isn't that hard to put one together. We have the, as leads, as options, you can have the AGL Super Saiyan Goku, AGL Super Saiyan Vegeta, you can have the AGL Gamma 1, you can have the Strength Gamma 2, you can have the AGL Super Saiyan Vegeta, or you can have the Tech Super Saiyan God Goku and Super Saiyan God Vegeta. So, plenty of great options from that perspective. Uh, obviously, in terms of our team build, just gone for something that I find really, really fun. Uh, I've gone for the... AGL Super Saiyan Goku and AGL Super Saiyan Vegeta uh, as our uh, leads um, or as my lead at least and as a friend lead I've chosen the god version uh, of the unit and we're just going to have two pairings we're going to have the uh, tech Goku alongside the AGL Super Saiyan Goku and Vegeta and then the other pairing will be the god uh, Goku and Vegeta alongside the uh, Super Saiyan Gogeta once he transforms. And then floating around we're going to have the uh, physical Kid Goku, the one from the Path to Power movie, and we're also going to have the uh, tech Super Saiyan God Goku, just to create orbs. And we're also going to have the uh, physical Beast Gohan, or Ultimate Gohan with Beast Active skill if you want to get uh, very technical. So yeah, we're going to do that. Uh, and that'll pretty much solve our issue and from there we should be pretty good to go uh, like I say in terms of team everything functions pretty well here uh, there's nothing too you know crazy or wild or anything like that uh, so everything functions relatively well here the Super Saiyan Goku and Super Saiyan Vegeta are in a good place uh, they as a unit are pretty strong alongside the tech uh, Super Saiyan Goku uh, the Vegeta and the Goku very very strong obviously they want to take 10 attacks to activate their morale boost um, but it's not so important in this event and they just do a lot of good damage uh, which is obviously really really solid and does help us out um, quite a bit you know that medium chance of performing a critical hit when performing an ultra super is pretty good uh, and yeah they tend to be pretty strong uh, in general so just really like them as an option and then you know, alongside the Super Saiyan Goku the powerful comeback lead one just also a very solid option uh, they share great links so that works really well and Goku is a great first slot unit so that really protects the AGL duo Goku himself uh, is really really strong with attacks effective against all types and an additional defense of 59% within the same turn after receiving an attack so he does decent damage the whole way through. He also raises his defense uh, on his Ultra Super. So his defense gets to a very strong standard. Plus he has guard against all attacks when HP is 60% or more. If your HP is 59% or less, we have the revive, but we won't be needing that in this event. So just in general, just a very high damage unit, which is very, very good. The other rotation, as I mentioned, is the Super Saiyan God version of the you know, Goku and Vegeta, which I think is very, very good. Uh, their transformation is super duper solid as well. So they'll do quite a fair chunk of damage. Uh, and yeah, they're just very, very good in general, um, which I think is always awesome. They have a great leader skill. Uh, they stack attack and defense, which is very good. And yeah, with them at Rainbow, they are incredibly solid, uh, which I think is you know, always very, very good. Plus, they do a lot of good damage. Uh, you can also use their active skill to transform them, uh, which obviously drops their stacking, but makes them far more volatile 
an offensive option. And when I say volatile, I mean for the enemy. They just absolutely disintegrate pretty much anyone, which is obviously great. Um, yeah, from most perspectives. We we'll use their active skill now and then return back after it's done. Uh, and yeah, from there we'll take it on. So yeah, obviously we use their active skill which yeah, transforms them but makes them very very strong and then also they do have a secondary active skill uh, which obviously can be used against an enemy when they're low on health which is also uh, very strong, yeah, guaranteed criticals etc, it's just very very good. But yeah, they're very good anyway, they do a lot of damage so not really concerned too much about uh, damage output or anything like that. And then yeah, floating along, uh, we have a very strong floating rotation, or floating units I should say. We have the LR Ultimate Gohan, who's just very very good, uh, really does well, good defense after super. Uh, he also obviously nullifies key blast supers, and he also has uh, attack effective against all types with 24 key. We have his active skill as well, which is super duper helpful, so that is something that's great. And in general, he just, you know, is really good like really consistent really solid so yeah i'm i'm pretty happy with his overall performance and i think uh, yeah he does a very good job yeah he could do a better job of course uh, but he does a good job floating which i do like uh in the long scheme of things then we have the you know physical kid goku who's a very 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 good unit um you know obviously or goku youth i should say Obviously, you know, there is this question of like, um, you know, which units float and all that. Goku doesn't technically provide support to the rotation, but he is very good regardless, uh, which I do like. Um, like his orb changing helps out. He himself is just very, very strong. So in general, I tend to just like um, how Goku is as a unit and how he fits on the team just providing a lot to the team and everything like that and yeah that is basically it obviously the final unit we have is the movie heroes goku uh the super saiyan god goku who is very good uh obviously after his easy aim became a very strong option in these events because he's now also uh got very high type advantage against or very high damage reduction against uh pure saiyan so yeah, just very strong stuff uh, in general from God Goku and yeah, and just very good team performance overall. So I was really happy with uh, how everything came together and honestly I was pretty chuffed with the whole performance of the team for the most part. Like I think most of the, most of the units did a great job. I think every unit did a great job basically and there wasn't really anything too major for me to be, um, you know, like, wasn't anything too major for me to correct, uh, at least for a no item run. This team probably would no item run the Fighting Legend Goku GT event, to be entirely fair, so there really isn't that much uh, for me to change here. Movie Hero wise, it's very strong. Obviously, there's tons of other great options on the Movie Heroes team. Uh, you've got some, like, you can go for Piccolo, you can go for either the Gammas, you can go for uh, tons of units, really. Uh, there's Strength Piccolo, there's, you know, the final Trump card, Goku and Vegeta, or the Time Limit ones, there's the 5th year uh, Anniversary Gogeta. There's plenty of great options, there's in Pan, um, there's, yeah, tons of great choices, really, to run here just depends on what you got in your box uh, but you don't have to know item it if you don't want to uh, but for me I found it to be a pretty enjoyable experience it was nice to use a lot of these units have great animations so it was a lot of fun um, and you know it's always a, it's always a pretty cool experience to be able to use uh, you know just some really cool teams some really fun teams so yeah overall I would say it was a pretty good uh, run pretty clean and I think there wasn't really too much uh, that I was concerned about. 
obviously uh, it's going to depend on you, it's going to depend on your box, it's going to depend on a lot of things. Uh, but I think for the most part you should be pretty comfortable with, you know, the whole kind of, like, events in general. I don't think there's, you know, going to be a lot of issues with this event, especially you could probably know I admit with just using the friendly uh, god doer. Like I, yeah, I think it's personally a more than fine event, and I think most of you are, are more than fine with it. So yeah, but that is uh, that's gonna be it from me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, uh, of course, leave a like or leave a comment if you need any assistance. Uh, and yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Till then, bye.